Hey YouTube, this is Noah, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus CE Graphing Calculator. Um, of course, as you can see, it's in the color black, and I got it off Amazon. I'll drop a link down in the description for you guys to check out. But um, right now, I'm kind of just showing you the exterior of the calculator. It's got those charging port right there, and light turns green when it's charged, or green when it's done charging, and orange while it's charging got all your instruction manuals and it does use a lithium ion battery so it you don't have to replace the batteries every once in a while I don't know how long the batteries will last comes with two cables one of them is a transfer cable that transfers information from one calculator to another and one of them is the charging cable and it also comes with a charging brick it's a 5 watt charging brick about the size it's the same power output as Apple's charging brick and it's uh, relatively nice um, Here's the packaging right here. It's uh, classic TI calculator packaging, and on the back you can see statistics about um, which calculator is best for you. It is accepted on school testing, like the SAT, and um, it's an overall really great calculator. It's a more modern take on an older calculator. The older TI 84s have um, a non HD screen. You can see the pixels, it's not, it doesn't look very nice. Whereas this one has an HD screen, just like last the last model, the TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition, I believe. And um, it's basically the same as that model, except it's much thinner, much lighter, and um, it's got a faster processor. The problem with the last model was the processor wasn't fast enough to compensate for the screen, so graphing was much slower. This one, it's much faster, since it's at least two times faster than the last model's processor. You can change... Um, the colors of each lines and what type of lines they are and as you can see that that wasn't edited that's how fast it graphed it just goes you just like that and that was a you know a parabola and it graphs really quickly see that's that would be a ton of data to put in if you had to um, graph that on the last model but the reason it's graphing so fast it won't be like that when you get it um, the, the way you have the way you have to make it graph that fast is you have to go into the settings and turn off detect asymptotes I'll show you how to do that later in the video but um, right now I'm showing you the colors, you can change the lines, there's plenty of colors to change the lines and there's plenty of different line types for different types of graphs. You have up to six uh, L slots, I don't know what those are called, but you can enter data for each slot and you can turn on and off. It's, it's basic, if you, know how to, if you know how to use the TI-84 calculator then this is going to be a breeze for you. The only difference is that it, it has apps as you can see now, I'm not sure if the older ones had apps but these are HD apps, so you know you got periodic table. Uh, simulation apps they're really nice apps and they look really great in HD um, this is sped up though so it's a little bit just a little bit slower than that than what I'm showing on the screen but um, the apps are really nice everything runs really smoothly here's the settings and um, you can set the clock and you can set all kinds of other stuff so everything that comes basically with your TI-84 calculator it's got the same keypad layout as well so the keys are just um, slightly different size or shape or something like that as you can see the the d-pad or whatever you want to call it it's um, not exactly the same as last year's model or the model before that but it all does the same functions everything that you would use a TI-84 or T even a TI-80 maybe not the TI-83 but everything you use a TI-84 calculator for can be done with this calculator and even more. Um, using the TI Connect software you can download apps to it. You cannot put games on it yet though as the, at, the making, at the time of the making of this video which is July 17th uh, 2015 there you're not able to put games on it and I'm sure they will put a patch for it in the future but as I've tried doors does not work on this. As you can see that's with detect as asymptotes off or on, on sorry um, as you can see with detect asymptotes on, the it graphs some things much slower. And that's been a problem for a lot of people. That's why a lot of people didn't like the color edition. But um, if you turn that detect asymptotes off, then it solves the problem. It graphs at usual speed and with no problems at all. You can change all kinds of things. You can put pictures in the background of your graphs. So you can graph over pictures. You can change the background color of your graphs. You can do all kinds of color settings. And I'm telling you guys, the color is not a gimmick. It's actually really helpful sometimes when you have multiple graphs on the same thing it will help you see the lines better whereas if it was just the most basic TI-84 calculator it would be much harder to see because the lines would be getting mixed together and I'm sure all of you TI-84 veterans know what that looks like 
it's much better if you use it in color and it's I think it's much better on your eyes as well this this calculator runs around um, 150 in stores but I got it for 120 on Amazon and um, I think that Amazon's the best place to get it right now or if you go to Best Buy and price match it from Amazon um, the model I got was exclusive to Amazon Prime members only I'm not sure if that was just for the time being or what was going on with that but you can get all the other colors about the same price on Amazon 120 and as you can see the light for the charging status is amber and when it's uncharging it'll turn green and there's a charging indicator at the top of your calculator so you can see when it's charging and it's pretty helpful the charging is much nicer feature than putting in batteries for each time you wanna um, change out the calculator or it's really helpful if you're doing testing and you need a charge you just plug it straight into the wall well, that's about it guys thank you for watching and if you want to see more tech please subscribe to my channel like and comment on this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye